Hello, everybody. My name is Rebecca. I'm from the MicroCAD marketing team. Um, today's webinar is going to be about what's new in AutoCAD 2022. Um, and Jamie will be going through all of that with us today. Um, I'm sure you have noticed this is a little bit of a different platform. Um, so if you look around, you'll see that you can actually move the boxes around um, and minimize things as well. Um, change the size, you know, click around um, on our social icons, connect with us there. Um, we do have some resources on the right side. Um, there's a couple of videos for the new features as well as our website. Um, and you can take a look at our upcoming webinars um, on the bottom right corner. So if you have any questions during the presentation, you can ask them in the Q&A box, which is on the bottom left. Um, and we will answer those at the end. Um, so I'll go ahead and send this right over to Jamie so we can get started. Hi, everybody. I'm Jamie Smith. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really excited to talk to you about the new features of AutoCAD 2022. Can't believe it's already here, um, but we here we are. We're already, you know, we're in the middle of 2021, and this is when they always come out. So we're ready to share it with you guys. We're really excited. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, share my screen, go through a few slides. I'll pop, you know, in and out of AutoCAD just to show you a couple of the features, um, the things that jump out at you the most. If you haven't seen it yet, um, there's a couple of new things you'll see right from the get go. So I'll go through what those things are too. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Hopefully everybody can see that. Okay, so what's new in AutoCAD 2022? Well, we're gonna go through all of that. I'm so excited to share this with you. With AutoCAD 2022, you can experience the power to design, build, and create. The power to turn ideas into reality and the power to do it all in your own terms. AutoCAD 2022 is packed full of value, especially as a subscriber. You get CAD software that's trusted by millions, access to seven industry-specific tool sets to speed up workflow, um, and plus the AutoCAD web and mobile apps to get the power of AutoCAD wherever you are, which is really great. Today, I'm going to cover three key components of what's new in AutoCAD 2022. First, I'll share how you can work faster with the new CAD automations um, and how specialized tool sets speed up your work by automating tasks so you can focus on what's actually important. Second, I'll discuss the AutoCAD web and mobile apps that I mentioned. Um, these give you the freedom and flexibility to connect to DWG files anytime, anywhere on any device. And third, I'll dive into the all new features and functionality that you get with AutoCAD 2022 and how they'll improve, improve your workflows. So let's start with CAD automations. In today's world, it's more important than ever to work smarter and faster, which I think we can all agree with. Um, with AutoCAD 2022, with your subscription, you gain access to seven specialized tool sets with industry-specific functionality, which gives you the ability to work faster and be more efficient across all disciplines. It's all about having the right AutoCAD for the right job and, and what you need it for. The tool sets have hundreds of thousands, and I'm not lying, um, indivi um, intelligent individual parts um, with symbols and features. Um, and they create um, automation for annotations, layers, and properties, and automate tasks like, for example, generating a bill of materials to speed up work. You can take advantage of the tool sets while working in the familiar AutoCAD interface, which is really nice. Um, so now we're going to take a look at how you can benefit from using these specialized tool sets. Let's start with the mechanical tool set. So it speeds product design by automating mechanical engineering tasks. The intelligent layer management system places items on the correct layer, color, and line type automatically as you're creating your drawing. With the tool set, subscribers can even create parts of all of the project information assets 
um, which assists in making um, complete machine parts. Um, they'll get access to over 700,000 intelligent manufacturing parts, features, and symbols. Have you ever wanted to automate floor plans, sections, and elevations? Yes. <laughs> I feel like everyone can answer that question with yes. Uh, with the architecture tool set, you can. Um, use your 3D model to generate elevations and sections without the need to project lines from the floor plan, which if you've ever done that, you know how much time that will save you um, to focus on more valuable design decisions and, and other work that needs to be done to the actual plan itself. Um, this tool set gives access to more than 8,500 8, intelligent architectural objects and styles with feature design specifically for architects. Maybe you wish you had features tailored to our electrical design. Um, these help to create and modify document, um, sorry, modify and document electrical control systems. Um, the electrical tool set gives real-time error checking to help avoid costly errors during the design process. So, um, as, and a lot of people have actually requested um, that these changes um, get put into these um, tool sets. So it's really nice that Autodesk is taking the time to take um, people's feedback into consideration. Um, the con they, they added a comprehensive project report, um, which includes components, wires, and bill of materials, and can automatically be generated. Studies show that the electrical tool set can boost productivity by 95%, and you can quickly design panel layouts, schematic diagrams, and other electrical drawings using the library of over 65,000 intelligent electrical symbols. And with the MEP tool set, subscribers get specialized MEP engineering features and more than 10,000 intelligent mechanical, electrical, and plumbing objects to draft, design, and document building systems. Easily designed ductwork, electrical conduit, and circuiting for HVAC, plumbing, and electrical. For an experienced AutoCAD user, tasks that could take nearly 100 hours only take 15 hours with the MEP tool set. Think of what could be accomplished in that 85 hours back. These are just a few of the tool sets and with access to all seven, you get unparalleled tools to increase efficiency so you can focus on what matters most. Now let's take a look at the seamless connections in AutoCAD. AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT subscriptions include the AutoCAD web and mobile apps, which provide quick and easy access to CAD drawings on any device. These apps make it possible to continue to draft and design with the most up-to-date files while you're in the field, at home, on the train, wherever you may be that you're able to access your device. Whether you use AutoCAD for Windows, Mac, web, or a mobile device, be it on an iPad, iPhone, or Android device, you can enjoy a cohesive experience across various platforms and connect your DWG files wherever you go. Let's take a closer look. The newest addition to the AutoCAD family of products is the AutoCAD web app. Um, this gives you the ability to quickly create and edit the latest drawings from any computer. Now you can mark up and share DWGs directly in the app. You can also now upload drawing templates, plot styles, and other support files to create DWGs that better meet your company's standards. The web app runs in a web browser with no software install needed. How awesome is that? Um, simply visit web.autocad.com, sign in with your credentials, and then you can go ahead and start working. In addition to the web app, the AutoCAD mobile app lets you extend your workflows from the office to the job site and anywhere in between. With the app, get core desktop AutoCAD tools as well as mobile only features that let you add laser measurements to DWG files and use the AutoCAD commands you're already used to. Get precise drafting capabilities with the app's advanced technology. With the AutoCAD web and mobile apps, you can take advantage of the seamless connections and work in new ways across multiple platforms. You can also connect your files to the cloud. Last year, Autodesk announced their partnership with Google Drive, um, which expanded so many options. And there is actually even more great news that goes along with it. 
This year, Autodesk Drive and Autodesk Docs connects to the AutoCAD web app as well. So you can conveniently connect your files within Autodesk. Autodesk Drive is available with all subscriptions and it stores design files such as 2D drawings. Autodesk Docs is a cloud-based document management and common data environment available in the AEC collection only. With these new integrations, you can take advantage of the anytime access to any DWG file within AutoCAD. To summarize, the key benefits of the AutoCAD web and mobile apps include increased mobility through multiple platforms, workflows, improved collaboration with new workflows and in-app features, and the ability to connect to DWG files anytime, anywhere and the essential drafting tools with the precision, consistency, and fidelity that we all come to expect and love from the AutoCAD program. With AutoCAD and the state-of-the-art web and mobile apps, wherever you go, you can have peace of mind that AutoCAD will be there. To conclude, let's dive into the new innovative features that um, AutoCAD has been added, uh, AutoCAD has added, sorry, to the 2022 platform. The new features and functionality let you drive designs forward and use AutoCAD to streamline drawing review cycles, improve your collaboration process, reduce human errors with automation, and so much more. All of these new features are now included with a subscription to AutoCAD LT as well. Trace is a new exciting multi-platform feature to streamline the review process and enhance collaboration. You and your collaborators can safely mark up DWG files without altering the existing files. So your collaborators can create a trace in the AutoCAD web and mobile apps and, mark, and then mark up their design changes. Then you can open the trace in AutoCAD, view the feedback in context, and, there, and incorporate the changes as needed. Um, there's no need for printing or you know, redlining or anything like that. That's all a thing of the past now with this, this feature. So I'm going to show you a quick video of how the trace feature works. So with the new trace feature, you can safely re review and add feedback directly to a DWG file without altering the existing file. Let's say you want to make some changes in the AutoCAD mobile app. You can open your DWG select the new trace, zoom in where you wanna make the change, and then you may add a mark or um, make a revision cloud or write a note or whatever you need to do in that location. You can safely add markups without altering the existing file, then click on the check mark and close my trace and save the drawing back to AutoCAD. Then a coworker opens the drawing from cloud storage, goes to the trace palette, clicks on the trace, clicks on the icon to send the trace to the back, this lets them see what changes while drafting that they are going to make or decide not to make. And then when they're done, they can click the check mark to close out of the trace. Then they can continue with their other work. Share is another new feature that enhances collaboration. So with Share, you can collaborate securely by sending controlled copies of your drawings to teams and colleagues. Um, you, you can establish different levels of access to, to those who are view only or those who can edit. And you can generate share links that open directly into the AutoCAD web app as well. Um, so your team and your colleagues can review and edit wherever they are. They can also share directly from the AutoCAD web app as well. So I'm gonna actually pop into AutoCAD really quick so I can show you where that button is and where you can find it. Um, and while we're here, I wanted to point out one of the biggest changes that I noticed when I first opened up AutoCAD 2022, the get started screen looks a lot different than what we're used to. Um, so right now, you know, we have our open and new over here on the left with our recent documents. Autodesk Docs is linked right in here now. Um, this is where all of your recent drawings would be located. And then over to the right, any announcements and of course, any updates um, that are available for the software. So I'm gonna pop into this drawing so I can get that share button I mentioned. So to find that, it was actually one of the first things I noticed too when I opened it as well, but right up here in the top next to the um, quick access toolbar, you can click the share button. And I think this is a feature a lot of people are going to be excited about. I feel like I get asked about this a lot, actually, um, if there is an ability to 
share a file as read only. There is, it's just a lot more cumbersome. So now this is going to save you a lot of time and stress um, about who is accessing your files, who has view rights and who has edit and save rights and, and all of that. So, um, and just being able to send it with a link is another great feature. So I'm super, super excited about that as well. So I'm gonna pop back into the presentation. The next command that we're going to talk about, or I guess feature um, that we're going to talk about is the count um, feature that they've just added. So count um, automates the counting of blocks or geometry. So it cuts down on manual counting to avoid miscounting parts, especially when you're doing any orders, um, you know, for quantity purposes and making sure that everything's selected correctly. So you can import, um, I'm sorry, export your data to a dynamic table and get the updates quickly. And uh, this is just another way that Autodesk leverages automations to enhance workflows. I'm going to show you the count feature in action here. So Counting for a project can be super painful and tedious at best. So this is the perfect task for your software to do the work for you. Today in AutoCAD, we leverage geometry search to count for you. Um, with count, you can tell AutoCAD the geometry or blocks that you wanna count. AutoCAD will highlight all of the objects being counted and even call out potential miscounts. For example, if you have an exploded block or two blocks that are on top of each other, you can also tell AutoCAD to only count by layer, scale, or mirror state. The best part is that you can easily update as you make changes, or the count will actually um, update as you make changes. So it allows um, you to just easily count as you're drawing. You don't have to think about any of the objects you're removing or adding. It synthesizes all of the information in a table um, for tasks like ordering parts and giving estimates. So the table will um, update as you make the changes and the drawing with um, this automation is aimed at eliminating repetitive error prone tasks that, you know, are often human error. So it's not anything, you know, that we can really change, but this kind of helps us to, to mitigate some of those issues. The next feature is push to Autodesk Docs. So with this new feature, you can improve efficiency and reduce steps by publishing your CAD drawing sheets as PDFs directly from AutoCAD and the Autodesk Docs app. You no longer need to save PDFs locally, open a web browser, and then upload the sheets to the cloud, which as we all know, that's our process now. So we all know how that works um, and how you know long that can take. So it's just really streamlined workflows within your AutoCAD software. And plus you can now access your DWG files and Autodesk docs anywhere within the AutoCAD web app. So again, kind of leaves less reason to even make those PDFs unless you actually absolutely have to. Now, this is my favorite feature that just got released. It's about the floating windows. So this is something I think a lot of people are going to be really excited about. Um, and the way that you know Autodesk described it is they heard from a lot of customers that they wanted a way to view and edit multiple drawings at the same time in a single instance of AutoCAD. So this year, now we finally can with the floating windows. Um, floating windows lets you pull away drawing tabs and view them as fully functional windows side by side or on a multiple monitor setup, which I know most people have nowadays. Um, let's, uh, this lets you view and edit multiple drawings at the same time in the same instance of AutoCAD. So of course, I'm gonna show you this in action. If my video allows. <laughs> okay. 
When using the reference drawing, um, printing out copies or clicking between instances to copy items, it can be burdensome and obviously overly time consuming. So with a digital copy and the ability to move these within your screens, the process is much more efficient. For that reason, Autodesk finally introduced floating windows. So now in AutoCAD, you can tear a drawing away from the tab view, reference and edit your drawing side by side or on another monitor, as I mentioned. And you can even pull the window outside of the main AutoCAD frame. And then the navigation functionality works as easily as you can in a model with regular layout tabs and um, using your command line to pan and zoom. Um, with this feature, Autodesk really tried to aim to help users improve their user experience and continue to work faster within AutoCAD. And then you can just pop it right back in when you're done as well. And it's like a brand new screen. <laughs> Finally, you also gain some new enhancements. Um, AutoCAD 2022 offers a faster and customizable installation, letting you even work in AutoCAD while the program is being installed. Um, this is something I have yet to test on my own, but that's super exciting. Um, you can enjoy improved graphics performance and a redesigned start tab, which we, we talked about, um, that you can easily access files and other helpful content directly from the home screen. With AutoCAD LT 2022, you get the same innovation, innovative new features as AutoCAD, plus best-in-class 2D drafting software and precision and speed. And you also get the web and mobile apps as well, so you can take the power of AutoCAD with you and design wherever you go. When you subscribe to AutoCAD 2022, you get access to time-saving industry-specific functionality and automations. You get greater mobility and seamless connections with the AutoCAD web and mobile apps. You get innovative new features that help drive designs forward by streamlining review cycles, improving the collaboration process, reducing errors and automated features, and so much more. To learn more or subscribe get or get a free trial, you can reach out to your salesperson here at MicroCAD. If you aren't sure who that is, please let us know and we will get you in touch with the right person. So thank you so much for your time. Looks like we've got perfect amount of time, about five questions left. I'm sorry, five minutes left for any questions that anyone may have. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Jamie. Um, so let's take a look. We do have some questions here coming in. Okay, great. Um, give me one second. Okay, so one of our questions here, um, what about AutoCAD working with Microsoft SharePoint or OneDrive? Uh, OneDrive, it, I believe, is part of their, um, their list of programs that they can, or cloud drives, I should say, that they can work with. Um, I believe that that is one of them. Actually, let me pop back into my slide because it's ha it had pictures of everything that's part of it. And this is uh, part of their announcement from last year. See if I can find that in here. Oh, no, it actually looks like, oh, yeah, Microsoft. Okay, yeah, so Microsoft is part of it. Great question. Okay, perfect. Um, Another question, are all of these features also available with AutoCAD LT? Yes, um, I believe all of them are. Um, as far as we know, I haven't fully tested both of the, the differences um, with LT versus um, full AutoCAD, but from what we're told, it sounds like all of these features are gonna be available um, with LT, which is really awesome. Perfect, um, another question coming in. Um, can you explain the new library tab in the blocks palette? Um, I have not looked into that yet. Let me get back to you on that. I will um, definitely get your email address from your question and then I can um, do a little bit more research and get back to you. I don't wanna give you any incorrect information. So <laughs> we'll get back to you on that one. Okay, um, and it sounds like someone is actually trying to use OneDrive, um, but it's not letting them know that someone else is in the drawing. Um, so we can probably, I'm guessing, reach out um, to you on that as well. 
um, maybe figure out what might be happening there, Jamie? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. I'd have to definitely look at it and kind of do some troubleshooting. But um, yeah, and I honestly, I can't imagine how it would let you know, unfortunately. So I hate to kind of keep that as a, a negative answer, but I don't know how it would actually let you know because I don't know if it has that. It's not like BIM 360 capability. You know, it's more just like shared files. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd actually like to know um, a little bit more about that myself. So we'll certainly get back to you on that one too. Okay, awesome. Um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to throw them into this Q&A section here. Um, we can get them answered either now um, or look into them for you and uh, reach out by email. Um, all right, we have, yes, we will definitely reach out for both of those. Um, it looks like we do have maybe one final question here. Um, about how to add additional AutoCAD seats, um, you know, with this new release, um, we do actually have a promotion going on currently um, that started on Monday and will be going through this upcoming Monday until the 26th. Um, and it gives you up to 20% off um, a new AutoCAD subscription. So if you guys do need any more um, AutoCAD seats, if you're, you know, looking for uh, to get a new subscription. We do have that promotion going on. It is only until this upcoming Monday. Um, so definitely reach out to your MicroCAD representative. If you don't know who that is, um, you can ask that in the Q&A section here or reach out and we can definitely help you out with that. Um, but just want to um, let you guys know about that promotion that we currently have. Um, and I don't see any other questions coming in, but if you guys do happen to view this on demand, um, you can also still ask the questions in the Q&A box and uh, we will reach out to you to get them answered. Um, I believe that is all that we have. Um, you can definitely view those videos again. They should all be linked on the right side in the resources section. That will go straight to our YouTube channel. Um, you can check out any other AutoCAD videos that we have there. Um, and the promotion information actually will be on our website. So you can use that first link and move over to the promotion section and um, get some more information or actually request a quote from our, directly from our website. Um, so I think that's all that we have. Um, I don't know if you, Jamie, if you wanted to just talk quickly about your next webinar that you have coming up on Friday. Sure. Yeah. So I will be doing another webinar um, about our productivity tools that we offer through MicroCAD only. It's a, a special um, feature that we have for our um, support um, clients. And I'll also be talking about some tips and tricks in AutoCAD that are kind of lesser known for some. Maybe everybody already knows them, but, you know, I always like to share, you know, little things that I've learned. So, yeah, that'll be on Friday at 1 p.m. Isn't that right, Rebecca? I believe it is that one. Yes. Um, okay. If you click <laughs> sure on, <laughs> yeah, if you guys click on the bottom right section to register for the upcoming ones, um, you'll see all of those. And we do have um, what's new in Revit for tomorrow, and also the Revit productivity next week. Um, but if there's any specific topics you guys are looking for with these webinars, feel free to send it to us by email. Throw that in here um, in the Q and A section. Let us know what you're looking for. Um, so we can get some um, variety of webinars out there for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. So I think with that, we can conclude the webinar for today. Um, hopefully you learned a lot. And thank you to Jamie for going through all of that with us. <laughs> um, and we will see you soon at one of our upcoming webinars. Great. Thanks, everyone. Bye.